Yo, what's up guys, Kevin here. In this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about buying new snowboard boots. I recently got some new snowboard gear, new board, bindings, and boots, and just wanted to take you guys through the process that I go through to find like the best pair of boots for me. So I'll take you through my process for a comfortable pair, a pair that fits well, and also snowboard boots that go best with your style of riding. So starting off, the boots I got are the Nidecker Tracers. These are a mid-flex boot. They do have double boas, and they're just an overall sort of a mid-flex, uh, do-everything kind of boot. The number one thing I'm looking for when buying snowboard boots is comfort. So I just want snowboard boots above anything else to be comfortable on my feet. Every day I go snowboarding, right from the very first day I, I'm riding, I want them to be comfortable. So when I first went into the store, I immediately tried these boots on and I spent about a half an hour standing in the boots. So while I was doing other shopping, looking at other snowboard products, I was just in my boots and just making sure that there was no weird pressure points. After about 10 minutes in this boot, I did notice that they were a little bit too big. Normally, my size 10 shoe size is the same size that I get for my snowboard boots. And so I did go down a half a size for the Night Eker Tracers. So then I put a size nine and a half on and I kept those on my feet for another half an hour just standing in the boots, walking around, and making sure that they are comfortable. And after a half an hour, they felt good. I didn't have any weird pressure points. I didn't have any spots on my foot giving me pain. My toes were just gently touching the end of the boot, so that was telling me that it was a good fit. And my heel was being held really well in the boot. Two really important things that your toes are kind of brushing and that you have good heel hold. The other thing I liked about this boot, just for a performance-wise, snowboarding is the flex. For me personally, my style of riding, I like a boot that's just mid flex or maybe slightly less than mid flex. I find with that type of flex, then it makes it very versatile for the type of riding I wanna do. So I can take it into the park or into powder, can ride the whole mountain with sort of a mid flex boot. The problem I run into with a stiff boot is with the stiff boot, uh, sometimes the stiffness actually gives me foot pain. And also with a really stiff boot, I find that it's harder to make those fine adjustments on my snowboard when the boot's too stiff. If I do want some extra st stiffness in my riding, I'll actually just go to a stiffer binding. And with a stiffer binding, I find that that helps to balance things out between the mid-flex boot and more aggressive riding. A few other things I liked about this boot, I checked the sole, they had some good grip if I'm going on any hikes. Also, the weight of the boot is very light, so I was impressed with that. In the past, I haven't had the best experience with the BOA system. I'm a big fan of traditional laces, but I do know that the double boas are so popular. Almost every single pair of snowboard boots at the shop had double boas. So I'm gonna give those a try again and maybe they're gonna work out better with the Nidecker boot, but gonna be testing that out in Austria in about a week. If you guys have any questions about buying snowboard gear, hit me up down in the comments. I'll also put links to all this gear down below in the description if you wanna check it out. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck out there buying snowboard gear and I'll see you in the next video soon.